only thing more horrifying than my boobs falling out of this shirt was being an actor in Nova Scotia in 2015. Like Martha Irving when she's had one too many gin and tonics at Thirsty Thursdays, Nova Scotia Theatre took a dark turn. The year started off with DePopo Theatre's production of Kim Parkhill's new play, A Good Death. I don't want to spoil it for you, but hashtag she dies. That was followed up with Pillow Man, a grisly and gruesome, disturbing tale of a pillow fight gone horribly wrong. One scene I just had to turn away when Donna has to leave the slumber party because she gets a nosebleed. That stuff's not for me. Adam's Family was the most macabre and ghoulish musical that Neptune could find, and One Light Theatre brought us the disturbing and haunting tale of Chess with the Doomsday Machine. But thankfully, Lunacy Theatre decided to lighten things up with Night Mother. The story of a mom who wakes up after a party in Las Vegas and can't remember the previous night. <sighs> or was that The Hangover? I get those two mixed up. With Off the Leash Productions, Jeremy Webb and Francine de Chepe went on a murderous rampage. They were also the leads in the Scottish play. I can't say the name of that play because it's taboo, and I'm not even going to talk about that theater. Let's just say I went to their last play and I was looking around going, how the hell am I going to get out of here? And then what was after the Scottish play? Oh yeah, the death of the film industry. Uh, that wasn't a production, that was real life. And then there's Villains Theater. Well, they're always scary. Well, they have to be. They're villains. <laughs> I'm thinking about robbing a bank just so they cast me. The descent into madness continued with Ship's Company Theater producing my play, A Habit of Murder, about a little habit I have when artistic directors won't read the scripts I send them. Mm -hmm. Two Planks in a Passion Theater brought us Turn of the Screw about a guy who goes down to Venus Envy and buys a flashlight but puts it on backwards. Ouch! And then Valley Summer Theatre brought us I'll Be Back Before I Have to Watch Another One of Those Wingfield Plays. But 2015 ended with the most tragic tale of all. A tale of excruciating pain and unspeakable horror as a frog and toad got killed at the box office.